All right, towel update. I got a bunch of breachers done. Breachers are insane. Insano in the membrano. They are so awesome and so good. And uh, so basically, uh, here's 20 of them. And there's the Chassui or whatever they're called, the leader guys. Now, uh, I want to talk a little bit about breachers in 10th edition. So they gave a lot of love to these guys. First off, the models are cool. They have a cool name, and they do a cool thing in the game. Guys, that's the trifecta. That's all you need to be, do, or have in the universe of 40K to be absolutely flipping awesome. So uh, first off, you've got a Dark Strider. Oh, where are my cards? I don't have them handy. All right, I'll, just, I'll have to pull all this like off the top of my head. So take with grain of salt. So first off, a unit of 10 breachers costs 115 points. And what do they come with? They come with free drones, guys. You don't have to buy the drones. That's included in the cost. So that is, that is great. And the, you can get the options of the standard drones on them. I think you can get a marker light, a gun drone, or a, uh, a guardian drone. So I'm going Guardian and Gun with each unit. So each unit gets two drones. Now these do not do anything in the game. These are just tokens or markers. You don't measure line of sight to them. They don't do anything. In fact, they are technically equipment of this guy, the leader of the unit. So if he dies, drones also die. So make sure you position your guys so that you know there's not a gap in your lineup and you're having problems with coherency. Uh, so he actually, this is like a ranged weapon for him, and it's assault. And that's important later because uh, the, the breacher guns, the pulse blasters, are 10 inch range, they're assault, so that means basically you can add a D6 to their movement, you can run, that used to be called that, now it's called advance, and you can still shoot. And so that's important for the gun drone to have assault on its weapon profile, which I'm pretty sure it does. I don't have my cards with me. I'm feeling a little embarrassed. Uh, so, all right, here's how it works. Uh, you gotta have Shadow Sun in your army. And what she does is she has a six inch aura of uh, reroll ones to hit. Now, uh, the other thing is, so the Breacher Squad, if it has Shadow Sun nearby, and that's how I plan on running it. These guys in Devilfish, with Shadow Sun backing them up. And she can't be charged because the Devilfish are in the way. And she's giving her aura to all of these guys and probably some other units as well because six inches is 12 inches diameter and six inches radius is 12 inch diameter. And actually more because of actually her base size. And anyway, for you technical people. So the Breachers can have to hit because, oh, and the love these guys got is they have a three up uh, ballistic skill. Unlike everything else in the codex, <laughs> they, have, uh, they have a three up. Well, other things do have it, but they have a three up. If they're guided, which is uh, the Tau basic ability, uh, they can be a two up. It increases their ballistic skill by one. And then, uh, unless I'm mistaken, with Shadow Sun, that's reroll wounds. Now, with a Dark Strider, he's 50 points, by the way. And by the way, this is not the regular model. This is from, uh, oh, it's like, I can't, I can't remember, War Game Exclusive or something like that. I've, I've had him for like a long while. And I love this giant, like, uh, uh, like command helmet. And yeah, that model is just really cool. That's not completely painted, by the way. I'm still working on that guy. And uh, so anyway, I got this guy with 50 points, and he joins the unit. Uh, he gives each of their weapons an extra shot. So you can actually have this unit, aside for, and this is just the breachers, 10 breachers, with 30 shots, twos, reroll ones. And that means almost, like it's going to be 50-50 that you'll even miss one shot. Now let's talk about, let's talk about wounding. Uh, they are strength six, and they only do one damage. 
and there's something to the wound roll. I, can't, I cannot remember. There's a way to get that better. But anyway, that's kind of what you're looking at. It's like make 30 saves at minus one, take one wound per save. So if it's a three up save, it's now a four up. So a unit of Space Marines is gonna take 14 or 15 wounds from one unit of these guys. That's not including the leader or the gun drone shooting. So they just, I can't, oh, no, wait, I'm sorry. I totally made a mistake in my math hammer there. They have to wound. So the wound is probably gonna be a three up against regular infantry. And that's where you've got 15 wounds, you gotta save, yeah, you're gonna kill like, you're gonna do like seven or eight wounds, maybe nine, uh, which is actually, by the way, hugely good output. Now the Guardian drone, he makes them minus one to wound uh, against ranged weapons. So uh, that actually helps them. Now, if you put an ethereal in here, and I don't have any ethereals yet, uh, he gives them a five up feel no pain. So that makes them much more survivable. But frankly, I just can't help but love the damage output from this guy. And oh, that's it. That's what I forgot. They reroll wounds if their target is on an objective. So that's what makes them that's what makes them insanely good. Their ability is called Breach and Clear. So it's nuts. Uh, they need a little support. Uh, they need to be at their maximum effectiveness. They need a Dark Strider to be in the unit. But to be fair, he adds firepower in addition to making them get one shot extra each from Volley Fire. And that's Schnetzies. So yeah, the Breachers are awesome. And then for the reroll, they need and they need to be they need Shadow Sun which is nice, but not necessarily, like they're still really good without that. And the other thing is, of course, being guided, which is very, very, very easy to do, to get guided on a Tau, which I won't, I won't explain the rules to it now. Uh, but I will probably do that in a future video. I'm gearing up to do bat reps. Somebody called me, a client actually, today for other business. He said, hey, when are you guys doing bat reps again? And I just, and, oh, he said, why aren't you doing bat reps? And I'm like, I will give an answer to that. Number one, I'm depressed when I see how good bat reps are now. There's so many people doing it so much better that I'm just like, well, what, what can I add? I'm not adding anything to the world by doing my terrible bat reps. And to do them that good, I gotta tell you, that is a huge energy sink and money sink to get a, a setup for that. So all I can do is what I do. The other thing is, I don't need to. Like, I've got my videos, I'm just doing my thing, and I, I, we're, we're plenty busy. I mean, usually there's a slot or two open, but we're just like, like I don't gotta flail my arms and be like, oh, please place an order, uh, which is something that I really wanted in my life for, for many years to, uh, to not have that, have that feeling. And uh, there you go. Uh, I do have a Patreon, which I think is in the liner notes, and the Patreon isn't for me, it's for you. And uh, for the, pa the patrons, I do uh, four bonus videos, kind of a behind the scenes vibe every month. Uh, this last month, June, the first month I did it, I actually made eight videos. And, and it's, just, it's random stuff. It was like us talking about the games and a, there was a ramble in there. There was a battle, I did a full battle report uh, on there. And uh, what else? I also did uh, a recipe and then some other, I just showed some things. I plan on doing like uh, instructional videos and um, like if you spent two hours with me, it would be better than a year of training. I mean, it's just like that much expertise. All right, guys, uh, lastly, let's see. Yeah, I've got like 30 seconds. Let's talk about the color scheme here. Uh, a good color scheme for guys with armor like this is to do a dark undersuit, and in this case, it's just black with uh, a ghost brush of uh, Vallejo cold gray, and uh, then it has uh, it has a black wash on top of that, so that gives it a little bit of feel to it, and then basalt gray for the weapons, uh, filthy brown, which is like a yellow. Uh, for the little dots there, turquoise for the blips, uh, stone gray, and then stone gray with white for a highlight. Uh, so, you know, nothing, nothing too special there. 
just a typical war game standard. And that little dot of yellow adds a lot to them. And these guys definitely show up on the board because of how light their armor is. I couldn't do green armor on these guys. They would have absolutely disappeared. You can get away with it on the larger guys, but you can't do it. Can't do it on the smaller guys. And then, of course, the drones are gray with that uh, filthy brown equals yellow on them. All right, uh, thanks for tuning in. And that's my comments about breachers. Yeah, they're, they're scary. And I think to have standard four units of them in every army that I field, because they are... And with assault weapons, they move six, and then they move D6, and then they can shoot ten. So they've got, they've got a real reach out and touch you of 22 to 24 inches. And in those smaller boards, man, that is... That's a lot of hurt, and that can go quite a long ways. And I just, I love them. Love everything about them. All right, thanks for tuning in.